Welcome back to another Epic 7 Summon video, and today we're going to grab Mr. Pavel. Now, I don't want this guy at all. I don't think he's very good, but for the purposes of keeping this summon series consistent and getting some golden transmit stones and hopefully some Taga Hells, freaking Taga Hells, I'm going to summon for him anyway because I do have enough saved up for the next limited, even if I do pity him. But uh, honestly, I don't think his artifact, I think, is... I mean, I don't know, maybe for like PvE, for PvP, I think it's freaking terrible. And uh, he's basically designed to be a seaside killer. Now, you can actually use him as like a cleaver. He can actually even kill Arbiter Vildreds because he has an extra turn mechanic. But the thing is, I've Judge Kisei, and there's literally nothing he does that Judge Kisei doesn't do better. Like, Seaside Bologna does not survive Judge Kisei anyway. So I really have no use for him. But, uh, you know what, we're going to get him anyway, and hopefully we'll get lucky and get him in like 10 pulls. Um, I've been unlucky and everything else recently, so let's see if we get him. So, pull one. Let's see what we have. Pavel first pull. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright! Alright, so... I didn't want the guy at all, so of course I get him on the first pull. I don't get any Taga Hells, don't get any Golden Transmit Stones, but uh... Okay. I now have Pavel in my roster, so... This is going to be a one minute video, so why don't we just go over his skills real quick. Uh, <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened to me, alright. First pull. So his S1 is very basic. Um, you know, most people don't have crazy S1s. It has a 75% chance to decrease hit chance, which is actually an annoying debuff. His S2 gives him increased attack, and the thing is it gives him increased attack before he actually attacks, unlike someone like Charles, I think, where the buff goes up after he actually hits them. So I actually saw some videos. This is actually pretty strong. Like, uh, you can do some pretty significant damage, although in champion plus rank, it's unlikely that without defense break, he'll one-shot people with it. This is his Seaside Bologna Killer. Note that it has a special mechanic where damage sharing effects are ignored. But I actually don't like this because when I kill Seasides with someone with like Seedom or Judge Kisei, I love the fact that it shares that damage with the front because usually they have an Aureus runner in the front that's really tanky and that shared damage really blows them up. But the animation itself is really cool. Summon some kind of green dragon thingy. But uh... You know, ultimately, I think, unless you are really lacking in countering Seaside, this is an easy pass. I mean, at least for now. Maybe he'll get buffed in the future, get some crazy exclusive equipment. I mean, in general, it's always good to have as many heroes as possible to have a really balanced and, you know, interesting kit. But at the end of the day, there are some heroes that are... You know, a must-have, like Tamarin, like Charles, things like that, Crow. As far as I know for right now, there is nothing about Pavel that is a must-have. So if you're short on bookmarks, I would say he is a hard pass, guys. I only really pulled for him because I wanted to have his banner on my video, um, which will end up being a 30-second video anyway because I got him in one pull. But uh, anyways... Thanks for watching. If you actually want this guy, good luck on your own pulls. I hope you get him in one pull too. And uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of my summon videos. I summon on pretty much every banner. You can go through my previous ones to see that I very rarely skip them. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Good luck.